So now that we uh, covered these six major files, um, we're going to cover setting up Eclipse so we can start doing some JavaScripting. <clears throat> And what we're going to do specifically is um, I'm going to make a basic backbone for our mod. <clears throat> and I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to start up Eclipse. And for the purpose of this tutorial, I created a fresh workbench. So what we do. Um, from here is uh, we go to file we can create a new project and I'm going to name the project tutorial you call it whatever you want now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the project name itself and I'm going to go to properties alright so first step is we want to make sure the compiler is set up properly so we go to java compiler we gotta remove that, yeah, uncheck this here and then switch it to 1.3 and click apply, go yes and go OK. Now I'm gonna right click again, go back into properties, and I'm gonna go into build path under source. And I'm gonna add a couple of new folders within the source directory here. One of them I'm gonna call I'm going to call system and in system I'm going to put the uh, nod SD actually I probably better do I'm going to call this nod SDK as it's going to have <coughs> the STK system source scripts in there so I might as well just say system at the end so I have an idea of what that folder is going to do and I want to create another folder for my mod and I'm going to call that uh, I'm going to I'm going to I'm actually going to make an effects directory for um, system effects actually I'm probably going to call it system effects you can call it whatever you want <clears throat> so in here alright so now that I got that see right up here we now have a uh, nesting error because uh, we have two uh, subdirectories in the in the project and to get rid of this nesting error all we have to do is just go into the source root and remove it from the list and that gets rid of the nesting error so now when we press OK we now have two source directories and when you go into the location of your work your work source, uh, your workbench, and for for uh, my particular tutorial, I put it directly into my E drive for tutorial. And under tutorial, you go in there and you you go into source, and you have the two directories that you created. <coughs> and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into uh, Vampire the Masquerade main directory. I'm going to go under Codex. And all this stuff appears only after you install the Nod SDK. So if you install Nod SDK, this stuff should be available. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab everything that's in that's in the uh, Codex system folder. I'm just going to copy that. I'm going to paste it right into the Nod SDK system directory that I created. I'm going to refresh this here. And now we have <clears throat> from the last tutorial about Eclipse setting up Eclipse. So we had this uh, error with uh, Eyes of Chaos for some reason. Um, it didn't like str type not being initialized. So let's just initialize that and save it, and that should get rid of that error. It goes bye bye now. All right, so we're ready to go. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do since 
I don't want to write a script completely from scratch is uh, I'm gonna take one of these effect scripts um, any will do mostly um, here, let me expand this to full screen um, yeah this this will this will do okay I'm gonna take this script I'm going to make a copy of it and I'm gonna put it into system effects because I'm being lazy and I'm gonna just <clears throat> and then I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rename this script so I'm gonna go on right click the script go to refract dir and do rename and I'm gonna need to rename this into effect um, system starter system starter finish and and yeah, notice we still got this error going on because it's it's saying that it's a duplicate that's okay we can we can just do this here is kind of do a minor space and fix there we go just had a refresh issue so now I just close these scripts get rid of that those errors and uh, in the system starter script, I'm just going to strip this a bit. Just going to strip, strip it. Um, I might keep that, um, but overall, I'm going to get rid of these. Actually, I'm, I'm going to get rid of that too. As the system starter is going to be used to initialize the backbone. <clears throat> this script here, this uh, system starter script, is going to be applied to an effect. And and that, that effect is inside oops, it's inside our mod. <sighs> my mod so if you're if you're going to create a mod with a basic backbone <clears throat> to start up some uh, rules that are always applied um, there are two effects you can use to create a, cons a consistent uh, a consistent rule on um, there's uh, every human um, every human type in the game always receives this effect for increased blood OT and every vampire always receives receives a decre yeah decreased frenzy every vampire receives decreased frenzy and what we're gonna do with these two effects for our mods we're going to apply the effect system start script to both of these these consistent effects so this will this will this will work for every human and every vampire in the game and um, may work for uh, ghouls too um, though it's kinda iffy um, it'll only work for a ghoul automatically if uh, if that ghoul is a player <clears throat> otherwise if it's an NPC it's for some reason an NPC uh, ghoul isn't automatically given this decrease frenzy f from their initial creation they have to be like revived by the storyteller or some some such but anyway these are the two effects we can use to uh, start up our backbone